Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a total body toning workout for beginners. All right, team, you don't need any equipment, just your mat and your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start just a simple warm up. Go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel right here. We're gonna have some walking high knees forward, just bringing one knee up and then the other, marching all the way to the front of your mat or towel, and then butt kickers back. All right, team, keep it at nice and low impact today. Beautiful. Beginners, I got you. Good team. Go at your own pace here. Keep in mind it's just a warm up. Good. It's a beautiful day. And guess what, team? I have just hit all my numbers to be able to apply to YouTube's partner program and finally monetize my channel. Good. If you're seeing this video in real time, then you are what I would call an OG. You have been with me from the very beginning. Good team. Go ahead and come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna go ahead and come to a squat to alternating overhead reach. So go ahead and come on down, come up, take this right hand, reach it overhead right here. Get a nice stretch in the right side body. Squat back down, left arm comes up, overhead stretch in the left side body. Good team. Alternating sides right here. Beautiful. One of these days, I hope to have a million subscribers. So if you're watching this in real time, then you are very early on in my little YouTube journey. Good team, knocks on wood. Beautiful. Good. So anyways, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watched hours um, and two-step verification and, you know, no community things against you. Get to go one more each side in order to apply and the trick for me was the 4,000 watched hours. Perfect team, go ahead and take the feet nice and wide. We're gonna go ahead and come to some windmills. I'm gonna go ahead and take my right hand, reach it towards the left toe, back to the center right here, to the left hand, towards the right toe, back to the center. Get a nice stretch in that hamstring while getting the spinal twist going. Beautiful team. Good. Yeah, I hit the 1,000 subscribers a long time ago. Um, and it was the 4,000 watched hours. I've been <laughs> have been the trick and the 4,000 watch hours is within our one year time frame. So I have more than that, but not like within 365 days. And now I do. Good team. So now I have applied. Perfect team, build one more each side. Good. We'll take it from the top. We'll go ahead and come back towards the back. We'll come right back into those walking high knees to butt kickers back. I have applied and they said on average it takes about a month. Um, for them to go through because it's not robotic it's actually a human being that goes on and make sure that you have a channel that they want to partner with um, and that typically takes about a month for review and then you are monetized as much as i've loved helping you guys for free i might enjoy it even more if there was some money involved so, <laughs> so i'm really excited good team it's been a journey consistency beautiful but I've really enjoyed making YouTube videos in general. This is just, this is just fun to do. Good team, beautiful. Good, go ahead and come right back into that natural squat stance, back to that squat to alternating overhead reach. Beautiful. I knew all the turtles here would bring me good luck. Good team, good. I know some of you guys have really been with me since day one and done every single one of my workouts. So much love and appreciation. Would not hit that milestone without you guys. Good, I'm very honored to be a part of your fitness journey. Trusting me to help you along your journey here. Good, let's go with one more. Perfect team, go ahead and take those feet nice and wide. We'll come right back into those windmills. Good, get that nice spinal twist going, good. Beautiful team, good. I remember when I hit um, 100 subscribers, which enables you to get your own like URL so I could put like, oh, youtube.com forward slash flex fluff and not like YFW, like <laughs> random numbers and letters. Um, and I was like, wow, 100 subscribers. I was so excited. Good, teams go with one more each side. Perfect. 
Good, go ahead and come on down onto the ground as we come into a cat cow stretch. So come on to palms and knees right here. You can also do this from standing and getting up and down from the ground is not your thing. Go ahead and come down here, arch in the back, look forward. Good, and curve belly button the spine. Wiggle it out, get a little weird, find any tight spots. Good, arch and curve. Beautiful team. Arch and curve. We'll go one more each. Big arch and curve. So you can go ahead and come to a neutral spine. We're gonna come to some bird dogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out the right leg and the left arm right here, and then use your core, reel it all in. Beautiful, extend, reel it in, extend, reel it in, extend, reel it in, and we'll go one more. Extend and reel it in. Perfect, team. back to center right here. Opposite side, so go ahead and send out the left leg and the right arm, and then reel it all in. Beautiful, extend, reel it in, extend, reel it in. Two more. Extend, reel it in, and last one. Extend, and reel it in. Perfect, team. go ahead and come back to neutral right here. Curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into a down dog. Take a moment here to pedal out the feet, shake off your fluff, and then when you're ready, we'll take just the right foot, step it up into a runner's lunge, find your footing, and then go ahead and drop that back knee, uncurl the back toes, and take a big beach ball up and overhead. So get this left hip flexor tucked up underneath you, pull the right hip crease back, and then lean into the stretch. So if you don't do this real nice pelvic tilt right here and then lean, you're gonna end up leaning really far forward right here. That's a big hint that you haven't tilted correctly. Good team. Beautiful. I have, a, I have a hair like across my face, but you can tell it's like stuck in my lipstick. So it's, <laughs> I actually have to like pick it off. It's not gonna fly off. Beautiful team. Good, when you're ready, go ahead and bring that left hand down towards the ground. Take the right arm up, twist right here. Beautiful. Oh, the ocean's gorgeous. Good team, go ahead and come back to center right here. Plant the palms, curl those back toes back under and lift the back knee and then go ahead and take that right foot, step it back to meet the left. Same thing other side. So go ahead and step just the left foot up right here, drop that back knee, uncurl the back toes, get that right hip flexor tucked up underneath you, pull the left hip crease back and take that big beach ball up and overhead. Beautiful team. Yeah, my last workout, which by the way, I know every time I film an upper body workout, it gets less views than like full body and I wanna work on my butt and I wanna work on my abs. Do your upper body work team. Total body resilience. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and release and plant the right palm down and open up the left. Um, but anyways, the last time I filmed, which you should go see, it was so crazy weather. It was like, I was in this little sun pocket and like the whole rest of the island was covered in <laughs> so much cloud. Beautiful team. Good, go ahead and come back down right here. Plant the palms, curl those back toes back under, lift the back knee and step that left foot back to meet the right. Last little shake off right here, shake off your fluff. And then when you're ready, take a nice walk up to your hands right here, meet your breaking point, roll it up, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our first circuit. All right team, so coming into our first circuit, we're gonna start with some tempo squats. So go ahead and place your feet in your natural squat stance. We're gonna go nice and slow on the way down for a four count. One, two, three, four, explode up for one. All right, team, we're gonna go 10 reps like that. We're gonna count them out together. Let's work. One, two, three, four, one. Good, one, two, three, four, two. Good, one, two, three, four, three. Beautiful, team. One, two, three, four, four. Good, you can send the arms out to counterbalance. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, one, two, three, four, six. Good, team. Two three, four, seven. Good, focus on your form. Two, three, four, eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, nine. Last one. One, two, three, four, ten. Good, we're gonna do five more at just your regular tempo. Take it down. One, good. Two, three, good. Four, and five. Beautiful team. Shake it up. We're gonna come to 30 second alternating high knees right here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the left foot, stick the right toe out right here. I'm gonna high knee, bring that right knee across the body, shuffle it across, bring the left knee across the body, shuffle it back. All right team, 30 seconds, alternating sides right here. Let's work. Beautiful, good. Squeezing into this oblique as you pull that knee up. Use your core. Beautiful team, good. Taking a little more coordination than I, <laughs> than I apparently have today. Good team. 
good. Good team. If you're like me and you're having apparently a little off beat <laughs> with the feet today, take your time. Good team. Perfect, shake it up. We're gonna come to a lunge stance hip hinge. I'm gonna go ahead and take the left foot forward and the right foot back, high lunge stance. So we're not gonna bend the knees down super low right here. Stay in this nice high lunge. Get this right hip tucked up underneath you. Now from here, I'm gonna hinge at the hips, bending that front knee, hinging at the hips, and then stand it back up. All right, team? 30 seconds, staying on the same side, and we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good. Don't underestimate this movement. Good. Holding this lunge stance is gonna burn, and then hinging at the hips is gonna get that booty and hamstring grind in two, along with this front quad right here. This front leg in general is just working, getting a total body burn. Good, nice flat back. Beautiful team, like you're looking into a pond. Ew, what's up with that? Beautiful team. Perfect, shake it off, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and bring the right foot forward and the left foot back right here. Bend that front knee, hinging at the hips. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Beautiful. Good, team. Nice, strong legs. Good. Keeping that back leg nice and straight. Beautiful. I'm actually used to dropping the back knee, so it's <laughs> and throwing me up a little bit. Good team. Good, nice strong legs here. Toning really means gain muscle and burn fat at the <laughs> same time. Perfect team. Shake it off and go ahead and come towards one side of your mat or tower and come to a karaoke to a front kick. So I'm on the right side of the mat right here. I'm gonna step out with my left, back with my right, out with my left, front kick with the right, and then back. Step with the right, back with the left, out with the right, front kick with the left. All right, team, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Get that heart rate up. So today will be a nice mix of both strength and cardio. Good. That's how we tone. Good. We work the muscles and get the heart rate up. Everything's working. Beautiful team. It's a big plane going overhead. I apologize. Good. The many tribulations of filming outside. Good team. Perfect, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and take it from the top. So we'll come right back into those tempo squats. Go ahead and come into your natural squat stance. Count them out together, team. Let's work. One, two, three, four, one. Good, one, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, three. Beautiful, team. Two, three, four, four. Good, one, two, three, four, five. Good, one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, seven, beautiful. Two, three, four, eight, really explode up. Two, three, four, nine, one more. One, two, three, four, ten. Five regular, let's work. One, good. Two, three, good team. Four, and five, perfect team. We'll come right back into those high knees. Go ahead and plant the left foot, stick that right toe out. 30 seconds on the clock, team, let's work. Bring it up, shuffle across. Good. Exhale as you squeeze that knee up. Good, team. Big squeeze in that core. Beautiful. Getting that heart rate up. Good, team. I actually love um, standing ab exercises like this one. Good, team. Getting those hip flexors working. Good. Functional fitness. Perfect team, shake it off. We'll come right back into that lunge stance right here with the hip hinge, so left foot forward, right foot back, get that right hip underneath you. When you're ready, team, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Hinging, beautiful. Back nice and straight. Gaze into the pond. Maybe there's a fish. What's up with that? Good team. Don't ask me what's up with me turning on my probably awful <laughs> English accent. Oh, you know what? I watched Harry Potter last night. That's probably why it's in my head. Good team. I'm not gonna lie, my mom and I do that all the time. Good team. For those of you who are probably in England are like, why is she talking like this? Perfect team. Shake it off, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and bring the right foot forward and the left foot back. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. I've actually never heard, because I don't know a lot of people from England, um, I'd love to hear an English person imitate us as Americans. <laughs> Good team. 
That's probably the only way I'll understand how ridiculous I sound. Beautiful. Good, nice, strong bodies. I love your guys. It's like you're from England. I love your accent. Good team. Beautiful. It sounds very proper. Good. Sneak one more in. Beautiful team. We'll come right back into that karaoke to front kick. Go ahead and come towards one side of your mat. Tell 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Good. And don't worry about kicking super high. Beautiful. It's not karate championships. Good. Good. You can kick nice and low if you need to. Good team. Meet your appropriate edge. Just get that heart rate up. Stay moving. Good team. I used to do um, Thai bow workouts all the time. So I love this kicking and high knees and it gets the heart rate really going. Perfect team. Shake it off, get some water if you need it and we'll come into our second circuit. All right team, so coming into our second circuit, we're gonna start with some plie squat calf raises. So feet nice and wide, wider than they would be in a typical squat and toes pointed outwards right here. If you've ever done ballet, then plie, that's what we're going for. So plie on down right here, hold it down and come into calf raises. So I'm gonna go ahead and come onto the right tippy toe, back down onto the left tippy toe, back down. All right team, 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Good. And hold it down this entire time. Full lower body experience. Everything's burning, beautiful team. Good, nice strong legs. If you want an added challenge, you can sink down even lower. Or if you're like, this is plenty, you can <laughs> stay right about midway here. Good team. Although this is for beginners, all fitness levels are welcome. So you can crank it up if you want to. Good team. Beautiful. Perfect team. Shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and walk those feet together as you're gonna come into a jumping jack to a high knee. Now you can keep this nice and low impact and come into a half jack where you just step it out high knee, step it out, high knee, or you can turn it into a full jumping jack and jump, high knee, jump, high knee. All right, team, either way, do what's best for your body. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work, good. I'll probably go one round, one way and one round the other way, just so I can hang out with everybody. Good, team, good. If you have sensitive knees and jumping's not in your repertoire, don't worry about it, just stay moving, do your half jacks, beautiful. Good team, good. I was actually thinking about um, picking up rollerblading as a fun form of exercise. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come down onto all fours right here. We're gonna come into mountain climbers to a glute raise. So I'm on all fours, neutral position. I'm gonna go ahead and take my right knee, bring it forward, mountain climber, squeezing into that core, and then bring it out, glute raise. Lift that leg straight up, squeeze in the glutes. All right team, all standing between these two. We'll have 30 seconds staying on the same side. Then we'll switch sides when you're ready, team. Let's work. Um, good. I've been biking to give myself a little break from running after half marathon training, the little low impact exercise. Um, but I feel like biking just doesn't, at least the way I bike, because remember I'm new, <laughs> it doesn't burn quite as many calories as I do running. Um, I'm not as tired afterwards and stuff like that. Perfect team, shake it off, same thing, opposite side. 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Um, and so I was thinking about picking up rollerblading because I feel like it just seems a little more similar to running. Good team. Like for me to get the same effect that I get from running, biking, I would just have to bike for a long time. I don't have time. <laughs> I just, there's only so many hours in the day. Good team. I like to get my workout done and move on. Beautiful. So, think about rollerblading. I think because so many people are making it look so much fun. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna work on our abs, abadabas a little bit right here. So go ahead and come down nice and flat on your back right here as we come into a straight leg raise to a crunch. So hands behind the head right here, bring both legs up. Now from here, you're gonna straight leg raise, lower down as low as you can while keeping that lower back nice and pressed into the ground. Come on up crunch from here. All right, team, it's okay if we just do a little mini one or if you feel like you're hardly moving at all. You can also go single leg, all right, team? Just make sure that lower back stays nice and pressed into the ground, protect your spine. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Beautiful. So, skating would be new for me, too. Um, if you haven't heard the story, I took bike riding lessons at age 
30. I'm currently 31, so <laughs> biking is newer for me. Um, I'm still doing things like, I really need to work on these right turns. Honestly, I ride a bike exactly how I drive. Good team. I don't like to park on the right. Good team. Perfect, go ahead and roll on up. We're gonna go ahead and take it from the top so we'll come right back into that plie squat hold. Calf raises feet nice and wide right here, toes pointed outwards. Come on down, 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Good. Beautiful, nice strong bodies here. Um, yeah, so I bike the, <laughs> the same way that I drive. And, you know, I'm trying to work on like, okay, I want to learn how to stand on the bike and good team. Um, so I'm not doing any advanced biking or anything. Um, and that's probably why I'm not fully fatigued. Good team. So rollerblading would also be new. Perfect team, shake it off. We'll come right back into those half jack or jumping jack to high knees. I'm gonna go ahead and rock it with my half jackers this time. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Step it out, high knee. Step it out, high knee. Beautiful. Good team, full body moving. Perfect. Um, so I could be wrong, but I'm under the impression that rollerblading would wipe me out a little bit more. Good team. When you're someone that's used to like working, I feel like you're like used to working out and then you tone it down or you stop working out, you take a break for a little bit and your sleep patterns get thrown off. Good team. Perfect, shake it off. We'll go ahead and come down on the off boys. We'll come right back into that mountain climber to glute raise. 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Reel it in. Squeeze in the glutes. Good. Um, I am that person. Like, if I'm not getting my regular exercise, I'll start sleeping like five hours a night. Like, almost like my body's asking me to spend that energy. Good team. And I just don't have more hours in the day. So, <laughs> need to crank up intensity while keeping it low impact. Beautiful team. Good. A few more seconds. Stay with me. Strong core, strong booty, everything's working. Perfect team, go ahead and drop. Same thing, opposite side. There's seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Good. And I think like a lot of Instagrammers are just making roller skating and roller blading look like fun. I feel like I'd be better at roller blading than roller skating. Um, looks like it requires a little less coordination. I could be wrong on that, but it's, <laughs> at least that's how it looks. It looks like you can go a little bit faster. Um, do you ever see people that go on there though and they're like, dancing in their skates and they make it look like so much fun. I'm like, oh, maybe I should try this. Perfect team. Beautiful, go ahead and flip on over onto our backs right here. We'll come right back into that straight leg raise to a crunch, 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work, good. Which I usually ride the bike um, down to here. This is about four miles from my place. So, you know, here and back is like an eight mile bike ride. I'm like, I wonder if it'd be a fun eight mile skate. Good team, beautiful. And it's pretty much like flat, hardly any traffic. Perfect team, shake it off. You go ahead and grab onto the backs of the legs right here. Use that to roll on up, get some water if you need it. And we'll come into a cool down. All right team, so coming into a cool down, we're gonna go ahead and start with a figure four piriformis stretch. So go ahead and come down nice and flat right here and cross the right ankle over the left knee right here and then pull it up right here grab thread the needle grab the back of that left thigh give a little bit of a tug and relax your head right here beautiful if you're like where is a piriformis it's in your butt good <laughs> if you want a little more you can press that right elbow into the right knee and open it up if you're like that's plenty then totally ignore that and just, <laughs> just relax the head beautiful team Deep breaths here, taking that heart rate back down. Good. Good team, go ahead and release. Same thing, opposite side, so just switch on over, cross that left ankle over the right knee, thread the needle, grab the back of that right thigh and give a little bit of a tug. I'm sorry, it's like all the airplanes just went off at the same time. Good team, it'll pass. Good, relax the head. Good. I'm all, hmm, what's that cloud look like? It's expanding, that's what I can tell. Good team. Maybe it's a growing plant. It almost kind of looks like a little flower in the center, it's pretty. Good team, go ahead and relax, release, go ahead and grab onto the back of 
both thighs right there and use that to roll on up as we come into a butterfly stretch. So go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together, bring the knees out nice and wide, sit up nice and tall right here and let the knees go heavy. Good, if you feel like somebody has hooked onto your belly button and is pulling you backwards, just go ahead and walk those feet out a little more. Give yourself a little more space. Also option, you can set a towel or blanket or pillow underneath your butt and set the hips up a little bit higher. Good team. All levels of mobility. Modify however you need to do it. Feels good on your body. Good, don't feel obligated to get it, you know, into some perfect shape. Good. Good. Progress is not perfection. Beautiful team. Go ahead and release right here and make your way onto all fours. Take your time getting there onto palms and knees right here. And then when you do get here, go ahead and curl those toes under and lift the hips up nice and high into a down dog. Pedal out the feet, shake off your fluff. Good. Fresh blood to the head. Take a second here. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and take the right foot, step it up into runner's lunge right here. Find your footing first and then go ahead and rise up into a high lunge. Get this left hip tucked up underneath you, pull the right hip crease back. Now from here, you can interlace the fingers behind the back right here and pull the shoulders down and away. Open up the chest. Good. So full body experience here. You should be opening up the chest, feeling a stretch in those shoulders as you feel a stretch in that hip flexor. Beautiful team. Good. Deep breaths. If your legs are tired, stay with me. Little cool down stretches are really helpful. Good team. Go ahead and release. Bring both palms down to the ground right here and straighten out through that front leg pyramid posture. Good. Good team. There's a cute little birdie behind me too. Wild kingdom. Wild fluffdom. Good team. Good deep breaths. Nice stretch in that hamstring. It's been working. Good team. Go ahead and bend that front knee, plant the palm, step that right foot back to meet the left, shake it off right here, and then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So go ahead and take that left foot up into your runner's lunge, find your footing first, and then rise up into a high lunge right here. This time, interlace the fingers behind the back and place the opposite thumb on top of so the thumb that feels a little funky, and pull the shoulders down and away. Open it up. Good. Get that right hip tucked up underneath you. Good team. Good. I actually saw a whole lot of cars by where the planes are. Um, and I thought like there'd be like an air show or something today. I'm wondering if that's what's going on. Good. Lots of airplanes. Beautiful team. Good, remind you to pull those shoulders back. I got caught talking and I forgot to stretch. All right, pull the shoulders back, focus. Good, then when you're ready, go ahead and Release those palms down to the ground, or don't worry about touching the ground, just give it that intention, and then straighten out through that front leg pyramid posture. Good team, taking that heart rate back down. Good. And then this time, go ahead and bend that front knee and bend the back knee, and then go ahead and bounce off it, step it up to meet the front one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and step towards the middle for aesthetic purposes, but you can stay at the front of your mat or towel as we say our farewells for today. So we'll meet in mountain pose, feet together, palms face forward. Then on an inhale, go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Jai Namaste, big clap, make it a round of applause if you deserve it, and go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. Excellent work today, team. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts every single week and occasionally recipes and always fun story, and I'm about to be monetized. All right, team, the divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time.